Internal energy is energy inside of matter. Um, when this energy goes inside of matter, it can reveal itself by uh, a change in the temperature of the matter. But there are other ways that it can reveal itself as well. Uh, this hidden energy, this, this internal energy, as it's stored in matter, uh, can change the physical state of the matter. That is, the amount of internal energy in the matter might uh, decide whether the matter is going to be a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Or the internal energy in matter might uh, have something to do with the chemical nature of the matter. For example, if you have a piece of dynamite, and you strike a match in just the right way, that internal energy can release itself into kinetic energy of flying body parts. Kinetic energy uh, has, seems to have come uh, out of the internal energy of the matter. Or finally, you can store energy inside of matter as internal, ma uh, internal energy um, and associate it with the shape of the matter. For example, in a spring, if I take uh, a spring like this with this uh, mass on it and I pull the mass downward, I am decreasing the gravitational potential energy of the uh, mass. It has no kinetic energy because it's at rest, so I've decreased the gravitational potential. It has no kinetic, and yet, because the spring is stretched, there is energy which, if I release the weight, now converts from internal energy stored in the shape of the spring into kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. If I start out and uh, release it, then the thing begins to move upward. That means that the gravitational potential energy is increasing. It also means as it begins to move that the kinetic energy is increasing. And that means that that energy must be coming at the expense of internal energy in the shape of the spring. So I can think of energy in this particular case as a conserved quantity and make it analogous to water, which uh, I can imagine water in three different buckets. There can be a kinetic energy bucket. There can be a gravitational potential energy bucket. There can be an internal energy bucket. There's only a certain amount of water representing energy, but some of it might be in this bucket, some in that, and some in that the total amount of water being conserved. So now, watch the motion of the mass on the spring, but think of it in terms of this conserved quantity, energy, shifting between the three kinds, kinetic, gravitational potential, and internal energy.